friends welcome to vino infotainment <clears throat> today we are going to deal with one of the major concept or one of the most important concept of communication because at the end of the day what we communicate will leave an impregnable impression in the mind of people so from that perspective if we are not able to communicate or we suffer from any sort of barrier or any kind of barrier then we falter and as a result of that our communication fail and our goal is never achieved and our objective is never achieved and we are morally down nobody nobody means nobody on this earth ever prefers that while he is communicating he should be considered as a poor guy or he should be considered as a person who cannot communicate so that impression you want to dispel off whenever you communicate to the outside world so from that perspective once we know the barrier of communication we must know how to communicate effectively and for effective communication we should keep in mind some of the factors that actually make our communication effective rather effective so from that perspective the first concept is clarity of purpose in the first place we must be clear about what we are going to communicate what we want to communicate if we are clear about that then we can plan then we can think of and then we can structure it as to what we are going to explain to the outside world the major mistake in communication is to believe that it happens it simply shows your callousness that you assume that everything happens nothing happens at random when you are going to communicate you must keep in mind when to communicate whom to communicate what to communicate and where to communicate if you keep these things in mind then you can have some sort of planning no communication happens in a random way so clarity is the buzzword clarity is what clarity of purpose is the most important part of communication then the next thing when you are communicating is to cater to head and heart when we say this phrase cater to head and heart what does it mean it means to emotionally understand your receiver means your audience as to what he or she is looking for if you cater to their emotional need there is a greater possibility that he shall remain or he shall stay motivated to listen what you are going to say so if you cater to their emotional needs there is a possibility that he shall be into your domain he shall be into your communication he shall be anxiously and very carefully listening what you are going to tell them so it is very important that you need to cater to the emotional aspect of that individual because emotions drive the individuals to remain in your domain and it motivates the audience to remain in your domain and if they are into your domain the possibility of your communication reaching his head and heart is greater isn't it so if the individual if the audience is into your domain then your communication is naturally very effective an emotional response will increase the involvement of time and energy of the audience because audience will keep on thinking about those aspect and when some decision has been taken by the audience then he will think about what you had narrated them what you had told them what you had communicated from that perspective what will happen your message will have a far deeper impact because you have catered to his emotional needs and the message that you conveyed it will keep it will be embossed in his mind for the time to come so it will become a reference point for that individual it means for a longer period of time there will be connectivity 
or connect some sort of connect of that individual with whatever you had communicated activities that is the another domain sharing of information or sharing of communication is the responsibility of all employees no matter which level he is working in or working on you can work at lower level middle level or higher level in an organization but it is a shared responsibility of each individual to share those information if one wishes to achieve the organizational goal successfully because now there is involvement of several people in achieving those goals and each individual is assigned certain task and if the information is not shared or not communicated properly with the idea to share it then there is a possibility that the organization will go haywire so even if somebody is manager before arriving at a decision he needs to share certain information with his co employees only then there is a possibility that organizational objective or organizational goals can be achieved properly so communication is a process where everybody shares certain responsibilities because sharing of communication is very very important aspect so it is the responsibility of each individual to share those information with other employees so communication is planned because it is a sharing process so communication is planned for action and information i hope you shall remember it action and information because action and information goes hand in hand and it happens it is possible only through communication so communication has this responsibility of sharing of activities and communication is a process through which all these things are planned then use of symbol as i had earlier told you if you would have attended my class or even if my lectures i would have said you that communication is possible only when a common sign system is used common language is used common alphabet is used so unless and until the symbol is the same communication cannot happen within the organization because it becomes meaningful only when a common sign system or the common vocabulary or common word is being used by every individual to convey his or her message to others because other have others have to understand the thing that you wish to convey to that individual so whatever coding you have done when it will be decoded by the receiver or the recipient what will happen he or she needs to understand it isn't it so use of common symbol is very very important in any organization so it can be sometime style sheet it can be sometime other thing so when communication happens within the organization it follows a particular set of pattern particular pattern so that nobody deviates and everybody understands it equally All those managers who are working in corporate sector are duly informed that he should not use too much of technical words when he is communicating with others because there is a possibility that message will fail and even the jargons are not allowed because if you are using some word from your local dialect or you are using some idioms and phrases that common people cannot understand then the messages will lapse and it won't be communicated to that individual or to those individuals the way you wish to communicate so it will fail and your communication if it fails then organization's communication fail and as a result the goals and objective will always fail because communication lays the foundation for achieving all the goals and objectives because it is the employee human being who have to deliver certain works and those works which individual will be doing which work has to be communicated so communication lays the foundation for all the execution of work because through this you either direct that individual or through this you inform or motivate the individuals to do certain thing so these have to be kept in mind that the use of symbols become very very important part then communication have another component understanding others need 
because need if you unless and until you understand the need of your recipient or the receiver whatever you are going to communicate will become meaningless because the individual will not be driven to your communication so understanding the needs of the audience becomes important part of communication you need to get into the shoes of your audience you need to get or you need to read the mind of your audience and try to mold your communication in a way that cater to his needs because you have gone there to serve that individual so communication is happening for the purpose of either you are selling some product or buying some product or whatever you are doing your audience holds the key of the success of your organization so your audience when you are communicating unless and until you map the mind of that individual you try to understand his mindset it is rather futile exercise to communicate so those who are good managers they go into lot of surveys they try to map the mind of the audience only then they module only then they plan how it will be communicated so that the individual feels attached with whatever you are saying to them those who have been expert in organizational behavior and understanding the pattern of communication and how effective communication can happen they have categorically categorically said that use the feedback mechanism to understand if the communication has happened properly or not so this use of feedback as you know when you are communicating you must know as a speaker if the communication on your part has reached duly to your recipient or not because you have come here to cater to others need if the message has not gone to them then it is a futile exercise it has got no meaning so how shall you come to know about it if the message was duly received by the receiver or recipient or the audience or not this happens only when you ask for the feedback feedback gives you ample idea about if you had communicated properly or not and if the message that you intended to send to your recipient send to your receiver then it has reached to that audience or not so feedback mechanism is a two way process through which even you get enriched because when you come next time if you find there is some problem when you were communicating and some things were not clarified you can answer them then and there and if you are not in the know how or if you are having insufficient knowledge at that point of time at least next time you shall come prepared and you shall handle those kind of questions with more elan more electricity and more efficiently so from that perspective feedback works as a two way mechanism and those two way mechanism is very very important because communication is intended for others and if others have not understood it then this is a meaningless exercise so to make it more meaningful it is important that through feedback you are also enriching yourself and you are also drawing some sort of satisfaction if somebody has properly understood it then at least you still have this confidence that your communication was okay or your communication was in right direction so communication as you i had explained you shanams the greatest exponent of communication he had explained that communication is a two way process where message is passes through sender to receiver receiver decode it and then he or she gives feedback then the feedback comes as a encoded as an encoded message to the sender and sender comes to know about because this gives you idea about the instant reaction of that individual so that is important part that feedback is given due importance when you are communicating and you must not feel irritated if somebody did not agree with your idea or if somebody says he did not understand it because if you remember krishna and arjuna's episode from gita you would come to know that krishna had few questions when he was not ready to wage a war against his own kith and kin so he asked these questions to krishna krishna was a teacher who was communicating 
his ideas as to why Arjuna should waste a war. But when he answered and he asked for the feedback, did you understand Arjun? So Arjun said, no, I have rather more questions. So he said, again, ask it. So when you were allowed to ask those questions, so he went on a trot and he had more questions than what he previously asked. Because these were all corollary questions which came from when Krishna was trying to explain something. So Krishna again explained it to Arjuna and asking again he is looking for the feedback because he is a communicator. So Arjuna says, now I am rather more confused. I did not understand. So communicator did not feel frustrated. Krishna never felt frustrated that why Arjuna is saying that he did not understand despite all his effort to try to make him understand. So Krishna says then, at last, when you are totally confused and you are not able to understand it, then based on the wisdom of your seniors, you should just accept it. And this is how Krishna has said, Sarpapani Pratajya Mamek Saranam Braja Aham Tam Sarpape Bhyo Momin Shasyami Masuchi. Means, when you are totally confused, you are not able to, despite all your effort, if your audience is not able to understand, then you should tell your audience that just do as I say it. Because this is, this has been arrived based on the experience that I have got. But you need not feel frustrated. This is the moral of this story. I hope you understand it. So feedback plays the most important part of communication. Then listening. Listening constitute very important part of communication. So far we believe, suppose I am addressing you, I can assume that you understand everything, but that is not the reality. The reality is, when a sender is saying something or when an orator is explaining something, if somebody is not listening it, then there is a possibility that communication will lapse. So, and when he is giving feedback and you are not listening it, then the person will, will become reluctant. He will not participate with you. So, in both the cases, communication can happen when something is listened. Or if somebody is paying attention, then communication can establish a rapport with the sender and receiver. And as a result of that, the communication will pass to the intended target. So from that perspective, listening plays an important role. Listening does not mean that sender is saying to something and receiver is just listening. Even the receiver can say you revert to you and he or she can say you something and you also need to pay attention to that individual because even the feedback, when the individuals are giving feedback, you need to listen to it. So communication is complete when listening is happening and communication is complete only listening is happening on both the parts sender and receiver both so listening is important part and communication can happen only when both sender and receiver listen then your body language is very important your body language means how cordial are you to the people? Because when you are orally communicating and when you are interacting with somebody face to face, then your body language plays very, very important role because I had explained to you that oral communication sometime also use some nonverbal form. It means there are a lot of things that your body exhibit which sends different, different sort of messages. So when you are addressing your audience face to face, it is advised that your body language should be within your control or in your control and you are master of your body language at the time when you are communicating. If you know what behaviors or what body sign you need to control, that is very, very important. And how you, do you dress up and how do you address the audience? That will be also very, very important. So your body language is very important, especially in face-to-face -face communication and especially when you are communicating orally to the audience because Whatever message you are trying to convey them, it will be conveyed only when the person feels at ease with you when you are communicating. So your positive attitude means when you are addressing your audience, if your attitude is positive, then people will be into your communication and he will feel at home with your communication 
in that case your communication will work wonderful last but not the least then how much you command attention of the individual when you are addressing somebody because when you are addressing somebody you need to convince them that whatever you are addressing them is useful for them because that will help you to command attention of that individual when you will convince them that whatever you are communicating is in his welfare or it is for him then he will be interested in listening about because he will think that he will reap out certain benefit out of it when he is into your communication so that way you will command attention of that individual and never ever lose track of what you are going to say then and keep generating interest of that individual till the end of your communication hope if you understand all these parameters of communication then you understand all needs of communication and you can become a better communicator and a professional communicator and you self command your control over your audience and your message will reach to the intended target all the time thank you thank you for watching video infotainment we wish you enjoyed this content and we shall keep on doing more and more lectures on several topics of communication and other aspect of your syllabus hope you enjoy listening it and keep giving us your love and affection because that is the only motivation that is the only medal that i get out of it because this is a pure charitable venture and if you listen it that is the only reward that i get thanks a lot for watching this video